code uh, to see how it works. So for fitting a boosted model, again, um, the code is much, much simpler than the theory because scikit-learn does all the difficult parts for you. So we just call the function. This is hyperparameter B, number of trees. This is lambda, and this is D. Uh, so I'm fitting it to the data, and I'm checking the MSE on the validation set. It's 16. So now the question is between um, regression tree with error of 26 and um, bag tree with the error of 17 and random forest with the error of 15 and boosted trees with the error of 16, which one should we select? Random forest. This is also true because I cheated a little bit uh, here. So as random forest, they are called like RF, and they kind of match with my last name. I prefer that kind of random forest outperform everything else. It's kind of a kind of a power game. So you can see that I've kind of played around with these random states a little bit. You know, sometimes random state is you know one, sometimes it's zero. But normally, uh, random forests and boosting or boosted trees are meant to be the, the best models we can have. And between bagging and random forests, there's really no reason to use bagging because random forest is just bagging with some additional benefit of decorrelating the trees. And the process is also easier, right? So the computation is less and the accuracy or prediction is, is higher. So also for boosted trees, we can get a variable importance plot. And also here, um, it says that LSTAT is the most important variable, and then RM is the second most important variable, and so on. Yeah. Yeah, OK. So, um, so generally, in, in uh, different algorithms,